Hi everyone, Victor here again. I'm, I'm one of the authors of Technid. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to install OpenShift locally on either your laptops or desktops. I've had different comments saying that the way I installed OpenShift a few years back is not the same way anymore and i'm here to say that that's not true because i have just installed the openshift local that's the crc on my laptop and it's still the same method so i'm just going to guide you guide everyone on how to do that so this is the former article that was written in 2022 and of course, if you want to see this video, you can go to the end of this article and then click on the link. Right? There is always a link to the video of every article we have. So you can either follow through or you can watch the video. So let's just go through this over again. So the first thing you need to do is to have your Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system installed. You can either install a 7, 8, 9 or real 10. There's real 10 now, which of course I have. So for real 9 or real 10, you will need to install the KVM hypervisor. That's the first step. You need to prepare and install the KVM hypervisor. And of course, um, you would also need to download Podman and install Podman. So if you don't have Podman on your system, it's not really necessary, but if you run into troubles, then install Podman on your system. So to do this, I'm just going to copy um, this command and uh, go straight to the terminal. All right. And of course, I have this already installed. Like I said, I just did the installation, but these are the steps I followed through. So install this. This will tell me that it's um, the package is already installed, so you can see that dependencies resolved, nothing to do complete because these packages are already installed on the system. And of course, the next step is to start um, the library after the installation. And because I have this started, right, I'm just going to check for the status. But in your own case, you need to, you know, run the command to start this daemon so if i do statues so you can see that the daemon is currently running well so this error i think is safe to ignore and after which the next step is to um so for rel8 you need to install these other additional packages but because i'm i'm using rel8 and above i mean rel yeah I'm using a real 10 system, so I don't need this um, to install this additional package. So the next thing I need to do is to restart LiveRD. And in this case, I don't need to do that because I've already done that. I have that running. And the next step is to get the pull secret. And to do that, of course, you need to click this link. When you click this link, it takes, to, it takes you to where you can get the post secret for the open shift local that's the crc so you just need to come to the local here and you would see here to say that download post secret so you need to download this post secret and then keep it somewhere or you can also copy the post secret and keep it somewhere mm -hmm. then the next step is to install the OpenShift local, which is the CRC itself. And to do that, you need to download this. So I have this already downloaded too, but I'm still going to download it. I downloaded it with a different username. So I can download it with this um, Victor username. Again, so you can see that it's downloading and uh, we're, go we're going to give it time and let it finish download. So you can see that the download is complete, All right? And um, go to the next step, 
which is to verify that it's been downloaded, that the CRS has been downloaded. And of course, you can come here and do LS. You can see that it's it's been downloaded, and the next step is to extract the downloaded file. So I'm just going to copy this from chart. I'm going to copy this to extract the file. So you can see that the file has been extracted. And now what you need to check out for is that you can see that it has a different version from what is on the website. So as of now, we have version 2.49.0. That's the latest CRC version. And what we have on the website was 2.5. So um, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.49. 2 so we've had um, different, a lot of um, additional versions to the CRC. And now, of course, we can verify that the file has been extracted. And then we can make the file executable. So if you come here, um, I can just do ls, right? So it, you can see that it's been extracted, and then we can make it executable. So if I do ls dash l, um, then crc Linux two dot four, you can see that there's another crc file here. So this is a crc file that you're going to make um executable. So if you come to the website. Um, you can copy this command and then we can go back here and then paste it here. So because I have a different version, right, you know that you would definitely need to change this version to the version we have here, which is the 2.49.0. Okay, so I've already done this. I don't want to do it anymore. Um, I'm telling you that it's the same step I followed and after which you need to you need to copy the extracted file right to this location so that we can install it right so just copy the same command change the version and do it the same way and after which you can then verify the version of the crc installed so if i copy this version you would see the version of the crc that i have installed um so if i do crc version um you can see that i have installed version um 2.49 and then open shift version 4.18.2 ah that's cool um we had 4.16 and now we have 4.18 so because crc should, shouldn't run as root we need to create another user I preferably a sudo user to run CRC and of course that's why I am using the user so you can see that at this point in time we're running these commands as root so either you run it as root or as the Victor user anyone is fine but you can see that I'm running this as the user Victor and that's why if I do id Victor you would see that I had already added this um, user to the wheel group which is a pseudo user and i've also added it to the live bright group which is the same thing i've mentioned here that we should make the user victor a pseudo user and, and also add the user to the live bright group so you need to run those commands to do both and then when you do id victor you can see that the the username victor is, is in the live bright group and it's also in the pseudo group or pseudo as group and the next thing we need to do is to log out and log in as the user Victor using the SSH command, which is the best thing to do. So for me, in this case, I have already logged in as the user Victor, so that's fine. And then the next step to do is to initiate the OpenShift local setup. And to do that, you just need to run the command CRC setup. I'm not going to run that command because I've already done that. I don't want to scatter what I've installed <laughs> and then you do CRC start. So at some point in time, it's going to ask you to um, input the, the post secret you copied. So just click on copy and when you come to, when you click on copy and 
when you it's either around CRC setup or CRC start. So that's where okay, it's here. So at this command, when you do CRC start, it's going to say please enter the post secret. So just you know copy it here and then enter it and paste it and then you let the CRC start. And when it's done, you can check the CRC version and then you know just come here and say CRC version. And then you can see the version. Yeah, we did that uh not quite long. Yeah, so um of course when you run the command OC initially you will not see that. So you need to set the OC path. So you run this command to set the path. And then you configure your shot to use OC, you run this command, and when you try the OC command, you'll be able to run, run the command, and then you can log it in, log into the cluster as the admin, which I've also which I've already done. So if you come here, of course, I've already done that. Um see login. Don't know if I have that. Okay, so I've already done that, but let me do that again so you can see that I'm able to log into the cluster. And um, we can then test, right, by getting some cluster information. I did OC get all, OC get nodes, all right. And I also tried to log in as the developer user. So if I come to the terminal and I do OC get all, and I do um, OC get nodes, so you would see that i'm able to you know see all of this so the next thing i'm going to do yeah i think that's that's it basically so you can then if you want login as the um developer user you can do that so that's how you're going to install OpenShift. trust me nothing has changed the only thing that has changed is the version of the crc and of course the OpenShift version um it's the same step so um i don't know why you guys or the people that have mentioned that they're running into troubles installing the latest crc i don't know why that is but can i show you that if you follow this step-by-step -step guide you would um install openshift seamlessly right and like i mentioned that the only thing i did was to install podman and really you might not need it so if you run into issues just install podman and if you don't run into issues you don't need to install podman right and of course podman is very, is very easy to install dnf install podman so thank you for watching and um i'm going to see you in the next worship lesson um if you have any questions you can drop your questions if you need um support you can let me know if you need guidance tutorial trainings you can let me know thank you once more and bye for now